Bonjour. I'm Matt. And I'm Matt. Jake, Jake from Mrs. Mrs. Viola's class at Fayel asked us, how, was, how did they make the Eiffel Tower? Good question, Jake. To answer this, let's first look at the history of the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower was built from 1887 to 1889 in Paris, France for the 1889 World's Fair. It is named after its designer, Gustave Eiffel. The tower was primarily built out of wrought iron. 7,300 tons of it, in fact. That's 218 wheelers. Wrought iron is a type of iron with very low carbon content. Carbon is an element that is present in every living thing, as well as many non-living things. The wrought iron was made in Mr. Eiffel's factory outside of Paris. The pieces were originally constructed in the factory with bolts, but the bolts were later replaced with rivets, which provided a very strong connection to hold all the pieces together in the tower. The tower has four corners where it touches the ground. These corners are resting on blocks, where they apply a force of 3 to 4 kilograms per centimeter square. That's like holding a bowling ball on the tip of your finger. When the construction workers were putting the parts of the tower together, they used cranes to lift the pieces. However, the tower eventually got too tall for the cranes to raise the pieces high enough. To solve this problem, the cranes climbed up the tower using the elevator shafts. The construction of the tower began in January 1887. By December of that year, the main support beams at the base of the tower were complete, and the entire first level was completed by March of 1888. By September of 1888, the construction had been completed up to the second level, and by the end of the year, the third level of the tower was done. By the end of March 1889, the tower had been completed. At 984 feet tall, it was the tallest man-made structure in the world until the Chrysler Building opened in New York City in 1930. While the Eiffel Tower was completed by the end of March of 1889, its elevators were not and were another engineering challenge. The elevators were completed in June of 1889. Even though the World's Fair opened before then, people could still go to the top by climbing a set of stairs. Hey Matt, want to hear an interesting fact about the Eiffel Tower? Sure! Did you know that near the top of the tower, Eiffel built a small apartment for himself to make weather observations? I had no idea, that's so cool! Today, the, the Eiffel, Eiffel Tower is an iconic symbol of Paris and France. To prevent the tower from rusting, 60 tons of paint are applied every seven years. Around the world, there are many replicas of the Eiffel Tower, including one in Las Vegas. So Matt, how about let's get some espressos and some croissants. Oui, oui, sounds good, Matt.